What's up guys, in this video I am going to show you that how you can integrate Stripe Payment Gateway into your website and accept credit debit card uh, payments from your customers. So basically I uploaded uh, one video earlier but uh, nowadays uh, Stripe has updated its documentation so according to that code I am going to uh, make a video so that you can update your code into your website. Alright and if you are going to develop uh, the uh, from the uh, scratch then that will be also fine for you. So currently you can see on my screen that I have this uh, product showing on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have some card details. So Stripe is providing the checkout page that is pre-built and uh, along with that uh, we have some code to download and which uh, we can set up into our website. So I will be giving you uh, the instructions step by step. If you are not sure about the coding then you have no need to worry about you can do the stuff by your own so let's get started so currently you can see on my screen that i have this specific thing uh, mentioned here that pre-built checkout then we have pre-built checkout page and on the front end technologies html and back end is php all right so i will be making one video on uh, react js as well but for now let's move ahead with this uh, both these html and php so uh, you can see over here we have create dash uh, checkout dash session dot php then we have checkout dot html then we have success dot html and finally we have cancel dot html all right so what we gonna do here is we are going to uh, download this one from here so first of all you have to download and then after you should uh, in uh, you should start your xamp server or maybe if you have vamp installed already and once you are start uh, you have started this one then you have to go to your uh, c drive of the windows and then after we have xamp and inside of xamp we have htdocs and inside of it we are interested to create a new folder which is for example stripe all right and i am going to uh, paste the downloaded file inside of it so you can see that in the downloads folder we have stripe checkout dash sample dash code so i'm going to uh, cut this from here and let me paste it inside of this stripe folder and then after you have to extract this uh, specific zip file so let me extract it here and from inside you will be having a lot of things so let me delete this zip file and uh, you can see clearly all these files and folders the next thing is that you have to uh, download the library of the uh, stripe php so what you will have to do here is you can see uh, over here like we have installed the stripe php library so you have two options first one is Composer so if you can install the composer you can do like that otherwise you can go to the github and download the complete folder so you have to click on this uh, from github and then you will be having one uh, directory and here you can see that this is the repository completely and you should click on this code and click on download zip so now you have downloaded stripe dash php dash master so let me open this one so here you can see that we have stripe uh, files already here and now we are interested to add the stripe php library so i am going to cut this from here and let me paste it over here and then after you should extract the folder so from inside we will be having one folder so let me delete this zip file because we have don't we don't have needed this one so let me rename this specific folder stripe dash php dash master so i am just making it simpler simple that is stripe dash php you can keep keep the name uh, as you want so now you have to open uh, all these things into your editor so i am going to open my editor which is visual studio code so in, from inside i will have to modify a few things which you have to uh, do before uh, proceeding with your with your testing so for example if you are interested to do some testing so let me show you how you will be doing that so let me close these tabs from here and let me go to localhost let me close this one as well localhost and inside of it we have stripe 
and inside of it we will be having a lot of folders and files you can see that all the files are showing here you should click on checkout.html and here you can see that we have this checkout button and the product price is 20 you can uh, modify according to your need but for now we have hard coded the value which is 20 uh, us dollar now we have to modify few things which are like urls so here we have checkout.html and from inside of it we have few lines of code which we have to modify so you have to scroll a bit down and then you will be having this specific fetch function of javascript and we have create dash checkout dash session dot php file so this is uh, this specific uh, file already but you know that we have to mention the path so how you will be mentioning the path http then we have localhost and inside of it we have uh, we have stripe and inside of stripe we have create dash checkout dash check session dot php and again we have to copy this whole path from here and then after you should save this file again and let me move ahead with this create checkout dash session file and here you can see that we have this your domain a variable so you have to modify this path as well so i have just deleted this path and pasted the uh, original path which is http localhost and then we have stripe you have to scroll a bit down yes that's it and now what you have to do is you have to include the stripe dash php library so if you would have uh, installed the composer then you will have to uh, you have you will have to keep this line uh, number three but for now we don't have the composer so we have to comment this out and let me add here include then we have uh, dot forward slash stripe dash php and inside of this we have one more thing which is uh, which is uh, init dot php so init dot php let's save this one let me show you where is the init so stripe dash php inside of this one we have init dot php init so inside of this init dot php all the directories and files are included so this is helping us to include all the relevant things which are required to execute this stripe uh, checkout page all right so now we are done with this uh, specific thing uh, the only thing which we have left is that is stripe uh, uh, credentials which are secret key and publishable key so we have needed both uh, here on the create checkout dash session dot php file we have needed secret key and inside of checkout dot html we have required uh, we have required publishable key you can see here so let's log in to, my, uh, to the stripe account so i have already started the stripe account so in the same way if you will have the stripe account so you should log into uh, that account and from there you will have to copy and paste the publishable key and secret key so let's click on sign in you will be redirected to the login page of this uh, stripe and uh, then you have to add your credentials here and then you have to add the password all right and then click on continue so now you will be redirected to the dashboard of the stripe account and from there we will have to copy the uh, publishable key and secret key and for now we are uh, doing the testing so we will have to keep this specific thing in test mode so on the left menu you will see view test mode test data you have to click over it and then this would enable the test mode of the uh, stripe and then you have to click on developers and we have the api keys click on this one and then after you will be having this specific screen and here we have publishable key and secret key you should copy this uh, publishable key uh, once you will be clicking over it then automatically it would be copied and then you have to uh, go to this specific page checkout.html so i am going to pay, uh, delete this uh, older key and let me paste it the new one 
then after you have to click on reveal test key and copy this one click on this one and it would be copied automatically and then you have to go to checkout dash check uh, create dash checkout dash session dot php and here we have this key and we are going to remove this one and add a new and updated one so now we are done with everything so let's refresh this page and let me zoom out this one and here you have to click on uh, checkout page uh, checkout button but before that i wanted to show you the payments here so that you get to know that uh, what are the successful payments already so we have 120 uh, us dollars 120 rupees uh, payment and for now we have the product of 20 us dollars so let me click on checkout so let's click on checkout and then this will automatically redirect you to the checkout page of this one so you can see that we have this uh, 20 us dollars and we have to add here the email id and then after we have the card number for example 4242 yes this one and then we have CVC number then we have name on card so for example the name on card is this one and then we have the country and then you you can click on pay so this will be redirecting to your to the success page if that is successful otherwise it will redirect to the cancel page so here you can see that this is successful so that's why we redirected to the successful page then after we have to move ahead with uh, the with the testing of 3d so you have to go to this specific page again and let me show you you have to scroll it a bit down and down below you will be having some credentials so here you can see that we have the credentials like payment requires authentication so you should you should click over it and this will be copied automatically and let's refresh this page again and let me click on checkout and then now you will have to mention here the email id and then let's paste that specific card number and let me add here the details of the card these are test details basically so let me click on this one and then after you should click on pay so this will be redirecting to this authentication page here and you have to click on complete authentication and once this is completed then you will be redirected to the successful page so now you can see that we are redirected to the success page so this is the way to test your uh, stripe uh, integration so let me show you one more thing uh, so yes if you are facing any type of issue so you can uh, connect me i will be adding the contact details below in the description and in the next video i will be uploading more useful content and will be uh, that will be helpful for you so keep watching all these videos i have a lot of content on my youtube channel so uh, you should explore each and everything because there are a lot of stuff which you can learn uh, learn from there so uh, if you are new on this channel then then subscribe this channel and like this video as well so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one